What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Unworthy Motors. Now, today I'm going to show you guys one of the best low profile floor jacks that you guys can get for the money. Good for lowered cars, can even help you out with your small SUVs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so if you watched my last video where I talked about kind of the top things that you should have in your garage, especially if you are a car enthusiast, I did mention a floor jack and while I would recommend that highly as something you should definitely have in your garage, the floor jack I have is... Mm, it's kind of shitty. I, it, it, I mean, it's what it is. It's, it's a very cheap and inexpensive floor jack. I've been meaning to replace it for the longest time now, which is why I went on this journey of just looking up and trying to do the research on what the best jack to get was. And really, my main goal was to find one that had the absolute lowest minimum height. Now, while my M4 right now is currently stock height, I do intend to lower it and I plan to have more lowered cars in the future. I really wanted to buy a very high quality jack that wasn't gonna break the bank, but also met all of my needs now and in the future. And some of the bonus things is the max height on this new jack is 24 inches, which means uh, unintentionally, I could actually use it for my Toyota Highlander, which is my daily driver. And I can actually get that off the ground to do the brakes or oil change or anything else that I need to do. So. Anyways, that's kind of the reason why I went shopping for a jack in the first place. And to me, this is one of the best jacks that you're gonna find for the money. Now, for anybody who's a car enthusiast watching this, there's probably a very good chance that you guys have this floor jack. I don't know how many times I've seen this specific floor jack in all of my friends' garages, just about everybody I see on YouTube. It seems that there's always somebody using this exact floor jack. Now I get it, Harbor Freight has some great deals, but just for a little bit of extra money, you can get something like this. This is the Sunix Lowrider Service Jack. The best part about this jack is the fact that it is low, and I mean low, low. The minimum height on this thing is only 2.75 inches, which means that it is gonna be useful for just about every lowered car, other than you guys that are just like absolutely slammed down to the ground, but this should help you guys avoid having to use pieces of wood that you have to drive up on just so you can get the jack underneath. Another benefit to add to that is that the reach of this thing is right at 18 inches, meaning that not only does it have a low minimum height, but the actual length of the jack remains at that low height. I think it does taper up just slightly, but it still allows you to get an extra reach underneath to jack up the car if you need to. That way you can get past the pinch welds on the edge of the car. Now, like I mentioned before, one of the cool benefits to this jack is I will be able to use it for my daily driver because the max height on this floor jack is 24 inches, which is huge. So not only does it go all the way down to a 2.75 inches off the ground, but it goes all the way up to 24 inches. And I'm pretty sure that if I jack my M4 up all the way, 24 inches high, it may tip over to be honest. <laughs> but it's great for my Highlander. Now this specific model is the 6602LP for low profile. This jack so far from what I can see is absolutely amazing. Now some of the immediate negatives that I see to this, which could technically have a positive onto it, but the negative I see, this jack is made of steel. This sucker is heavy and i mean heavy heavy this is sitting at right at 98 pounds so just sub 100 pounds but this is not something you're going to want to tote around put in the back of the truck carry with you this is this is not a travel jack by any means and i didn't want it to be i wanted one that was just going to stay in the garage so this one fit the bit for me but if you're looking for a travel jack this is not the one some of the other benefits that you'll notice is the crankshaft is actually padded down of course near the bottom to protect the car making sure that you're not damaging it and it does have the extension on there that goes the full length which is i believe right at 45 and a quarter inches long you can actually take the top half of the handle off if you're in a tight garage space like i am and then uh, you won't have to use the full length handle now one of the other things that they have with this is they call it the rapid rise technology Basically, it has two pistons to actually utilize to be lifting that jack up. And it says it can do it in about six and a half full pumps. You're gonna have the full 24 inch height. I did do a test, it's about a solid seven. So close enough, we'll give it to them. So I did go and check on these specs just to make sure that they're not lying on their reporting. And I will say that unfortunately, and I think this is pretty much standard across the board, the majority of Jack's measurements, when they measure their lowest height, they're measuring from the center of their Jack post, which of course has little nubs 
that go around the rim of it, which of course raises the height, even if it is so slight. So measuring this one to the actual nub, meaning if I'm gonna put it under the car, at most my car can be three inches off the ground because the actual minimum height of the floor jack, meaning what actually can make it underneath the car is gonna be sitting right at three inches. Now the majority of jacks run this same spec, unfortunately. They run it based on the center of the jack post, not the actual rim or meaning the part that's gonna hit the car if your car is not above that height. But one of the things that this jack excels in is that 18 inch throw length. So the length of the jack, meaning all the way from where the jack post is, basically until you're able to stick it all the way underneath the car without hitting the actual section where the pistons are, is about 18 inches. So you'll get a full 18 inches under the car before you have any type of impact with the top of the jack. And also, like I mentioned, there is a little bit of an incline from the jack post all the way to the back of the jack, but it only goes from three inches up to like three and a quarter, three and a half. So that's really good compared to the majority of jacks have a much steeper incline from the jack post all the way back to where the actual pistons are. Now, the biggest thing that I know people are gonna know is how much does this cost? If this jack is like, you know, $600 or even $400, I'm not paying for that. I don't care how low it is. I'll find a way, I'll use wood, I'll use some type of plank to get the car up and then get a regular jack in there that doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. This Sonex low profile jack is actually on Amazon right at $300. Now it runs on pretty regular promo. It drops, I've seen all the way down to 274. And I bought it when I think it was like right at 314. Average price that it seems to run it is right at $300. And for the reviews, uh, they were they were they were great. Three hundred dollars. I know for a lot of people is a good chunk of money, and I don't want to deter you guys from buying a less expensive floor jack. This is simply I had the extra three hundred dollars, and I wanted to buy a jack one time, and just you know I've been living a lot by the theory of buy once, cry once. I want to buy a high quality item the first time, so I don't have to go out and buy a second one later. So your inexpensive floor jacks that are in the $100, $200 range are totally fine. This one just had a couple extra perks that I was willing to pay a little bit extra for. All right, so I've been rambling about all of the specs on this jack. Now I wanted to quickly just kind of reference for comparison some of the other jacks that they have out there in the market because I did of course look at a ton of different jacks when I was trying to decide which one I wanted to pick that was gonna be beneficial for lowered cars and just in general have a very long reach for just about anything that I needed it for. Previously, I mentioned that a lot of the time I see people with this specific jack. This is the Pittsburgh two-ton jack um, that you can get at just about any Harbor Freight. It's relatively inexpensive. It's just below $200, which is a great price for a good jack. And this jack will probably last an extreme long time. Harbor Freight's not known for their amazing quality, but for the most part, their tools are pretty good. Now, I am going to go over a model that's more close to the same price range because I know this is right around $100 cheaper, but... Just from a comparison standpoint, the minimum height on this Pittsburgh jack is 3.5 inches for the minimum height, three and a half inches. The Sonics one is 2.75, a whole three quarters of an inch lower. Now, when it comes to being a lowered car, especially if you're people who are really slamming the cars, that can make a big difference. Now, if that's not you, then yeah, the Pittsburgh jack might be a better idea. Because for the most part, if it fits the bit, then that's the one that you should go with, especially for the price. Now, one of the other benefits of that jack, the Pittsburgh one being, is that it only weighs 38 pounds. It's an aluminum mix, so it's not going to be as heavy as the steel Sonics one. It may be a better one to travel with, one to be, you know, you can throw in the back of your truck or trailer and carry around with you wherever you need to go. One of the biggest negatives in my eyes is the reach. So you can see that the reach in these pictures of the Pittsburgh one is just... It's just not there. And it has that steep incline right after the jack post that I mentioned. So really using that for a long reach, maybe to get past the pinch welds or to get underneath over to the axle to do a lift may not be doable just because of the reach standpoint versus with the Sonix when you get about 18 inches in reach before it goes over a three and a half inch height. All right, now this is the big boy at Harbor Freight. This is the Daytona low profile long reach jack. Comes in many colors, it's very beautiful, it is a very pretty jack, but it has some drawbacks, and this is the one that I actually almost got until I came across the Sonix one. Some of the biggest negatives to this one is that the minimum height is three and three quarters inches 
high. That's the reason, and I would say really the main and only reason why I went with the Sunix one over that one outside of the fact that the reach is a little bit longer on this one because of the fact that it remains that lowered height. So you can see on the Daytona model, it does taper up ever so slightly, not as bad as the Pittsburgh one, but it does taper up slightly with that reach. Now, the problem with that is, is, of course, you're limiting yourself. As soon as you hit the minimum height with that, whether it's on a front bumper, on a lip, if it's a lowered car especially, or if it's on a side skirt and you're reaching in past the pinch welds, that's something that you're gonna come in contact with. Now, with mine, mine doesn't even reach that jack's minimum height at its highest point. The highest point on the Sunex jack is right at three and a quarter inches is the maximum height of the actual reach. So it's not gonna go over that, meaning I can reach all the way underneath the car if it is over three and a half inches high off the ground. This Daytona one is priced right around 289 is the current price of it. So it's it's very similar in price, very close. I think the Sonics one right now is running at 289. So the price range itself is right around very similar, but the benefits of the Sonics one to me completely outweighed everything. Now the Daytona one, that one of course, from a comparison standpoint, it's also made of steel. It weighs right around 104 pounds. So you're not gonna get away with using that one in any other capacity that you're not gonna be able to use the Sunex one in. So that one is also for me gonna be kind of a similar jack that you're gonna leave in the garage and not wanna haul around with you. Now, I do always believe there's gonna be a place for the Daytona jack, specifically for the weight. That is something you can throw in the car and take with you. Take it to the track, take it to a friend's house, take it on a trip, wherever you need to go. That is a great option for that. And I will most likely be picking one of those up for that reason. It's great in a pinch. Very simple. It's going to get the job done for a lot less price. But for me, for a floor jack that I'm just going to leave here and just have for just about any case scenario, for me, the Sunex one took home the award on that. It, in my eyes, is one of the best options. And as you guys know, I love Amazon and you can get it on Amazon. Also, I was worried about shipping. The box came through and it was, it was a little dinged up, but the jack was fine. The packaging on the inside kept it safe, so it did arrive okay. So as I mentioned, you guys, the link to this floor jack, the Sunex Low Profile one, is gonna be down in the description for the Amazon link if you guys are interested. I really hope this provided some value for some people because these are the kind of videos that I was looking for when I was shopping for a floor jack and specifically looking for one that was low profile. I do believe that you really can't beat this floor jack, some of the perks and specs that you get for the price. $300 I think is a very small price to pay for a jack that I'll hopefully have forever. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you go down and click the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for some future content. I made this video in hopes that it's gonna help some of you guys make that decision on a floor jack as these were some of the videos that I was looking for when shopping for a floor jack. So that's all I have for you guys for floor jacks. As always, you guys know, I appreciate you guys watching. Everything is linked down in the description. I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.